Welcome to the Rocos Minute, where business owners can get expert commercial real estate advice from award-winning brokers. Hello and welcome to the Rocos Minute. I'm Harry Ollington. And I'm Tanel Marshall. One of the most common questions we get when working with tenants is about lease types. What exactly is the difference between a net lease and a gross lease? Let us give you a simple breakdown of the key differences. A net lease is the amount of rent you pay before additional expenses. With a single net lease, the tenant pays rent and real estate taxes. With a triple net lease, the tenant pays for rent as well as taxes, insurance and operating expenses. Net leases are unique because the overall amount of rent you end up paying is subject to change throughout your term. Although your base rent is subject to an agreed upon rate, taxes and operating expenses could potentially rise. A gross lease encompasses the full amount of rent you pay. This means taxes and operating expenses are already factored in, not an additional cost. The rates in a gross lease are locked in, so tenants don't have to worry about unexpected overall rent increases. Any increases throughout your lease term will be scheduled in advance during lease negotiations. Gross leases are less common because just like you want to avoid risk and unexpected costs, so does your landlord. Net leases are more landlord friendly, but if you can create a competitive environment with your occupancy, you may be able to score a gross lease. Gross leases are also common when subleasing space. As you can see, the differences between net and gross leases are subtle, but can have a big impact on the amount of money you ultimately spend on your space down the road. Thank you for tuning in to the Rocos Minute. If you would like to review this topic or the many other topics we've covered, click the link above to visit our YouTube channel. And as always, if you have any questions about any other commercial real estate matter, we're here for you and happy to help.